Welcome to Porchlight, a presentation of Porchlight VNA and Home Care, providing top rate, highly personalized care to individuals and families in Berkshire County and also in the hill towns of Hamden and Hampshire County. And also, as you may have read uh, with the big news that we've had recently, uh, a larger uh, area that we are covering now. And I'm going to talk about that now as we have the CEO of uh, Porchlight VNA and Home Care, Holly Chafee, who's been on the program, of course, before, and also someone who was previously the CEO of Chicopee VNA, uh, Judy Cody, uh, who's on the program as well, and who will become the new COO, Chief Operations Officer, for Porchlight VNA and Home Care. And this is really exciting news, so we'll be talking about this here on the program. So, ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks, John. And the two of you have been, of course, very, very busy over the last <laughs> uh, week or so that would be this, an understatement. <laughs> as you know, it becomes, and as people are watching, um, it will probably already be uh, in effect. Uh, so after April 1st, um, Porchlight uh, is merging with Chicopee uh, VNA to become the new Porchlight. So, uh, so it's very exciting. So let's start from the beginning, Holly. Uh, this all started just about a year ago. Or so. <clears throat> yes, actually, uh, about a year ago, Judy and I were at a conference together. And um, we started talking about some of the financial issues that uh, freestanding VNAs have. And um, I offered to Judy the services of our CFO, who is Pat Lamont, and um, thought that perhaps that would help her with um, her organization. So Judy checked with, in with her board of directors, and they thought that was a great idea. And she brought Pat on uh, to work one day a week down in Chicopee, and that's that was the beginning of uh, shared services. And then um, I said to Judy, you know, maybe we should look into sharing some other services, and what do you think we could share? And uh, as Judy says, Holly said, we could share everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting because, you know, so often uh, we talk about partnerships on this program, and we've talked about partnerships between different types of organizations and how we can find greater areas of efficiencies and so forth and make sure, importantly, that the community is receiving the finest level of care. So in this case, you've taken it to uh, the next step and actually becoming part of one another and now a greater coverage area. So uh, so Judy, this is uh, pretty exciting. Um, you know, you had the conversation, that initial conversation with your own board, um, and then this evolved over time it um and and it, it seemed like we talked about it and we strategized and we considered possible things and possible ways to do it and then it just kind of kicked into high gear by november and we completed we each hired an individual lawyer we kicked into high gear with due diligence and to be cost effective and as efficient as possible. We completed most of the due diligence ourselves with, you know, legal counsel. And when that was done, it was like, okay, now, now it's time to like get down to the nitty gritty. And we did merger agreements and it was signed. And it seems in the blink of an eye, we were talking about it. Then we were having board meetings on St. Patrick's Day, and <laughs> April 1st is two days away, <laughs> three days away. <laughs> yeah. As we're recording this, and of course as people are uh, you know, seeing this, it's probably already in, in effect. Now, uh, let's talk about the two organizations and why this made sense, because Porchlight has a mission to serve the community uh, for more than 100 years, uh, has been you know, formerly uh, Lee VNA and then Lee Regional VNA. Chicopee uh, Judy has a 70-year uh, tradition of serving uh, your community and the greater communities uh, around Chicopee. So these two organizations have a lot of similarities, especially with clinical reputation, which is excellent. We do. and. Um, both of our organizations have been part of Home Care Elite mm -hmm. for several years, and um, we both have a group of very strong clinicians and managers, a lot of expertise that can balance each other out. And so it's, it's exciting to be able to pull from both those organizations um, the different strengths that are available. Mm -hmm. uh, we're both nonprofits. Our private pay companies, uh, Porchlight Home Care and Great to Be Home Care, are both nonprofits. And so they will be uh, known as Porchlight Home Care. 
and we'll be able to continue to deliver the service. And for clients, it should be seamless. Um, for staff, it should be seamless. We're bringing all of the staff over from Chicopee VNA and Great to Be Home Care to Porchlight VNA and Home Care. So we don't anticipate um, any layoffs or any uh, staff downsizing. We will be putting a new electronic medical record into mm. uh, Chicopee VNA uh, called Home Care Home Base. And uh, once we get that up and running, um, I think we'll be able to look at the operational efficiencies and figure out just exactly what else needs to be done. Mm. I find it very interesting also because, you know, going into the Pioneer Valley, and we've talked about this in the past, there are a lot of individuals uh, in the Berkshires who choose to go to Bay State Medical, for instance. Um, and so I assume that there's already a pre-existing relationship, not only from Porchlight's standpoint, but I would especially think uh, from Chicopee's standpoint, uh, Judy, that, that that's an important relationship for you. Actually, Bay State Medical Center is our number one referral center in spite of them having a home care company of their own. <laughs> they have a hospital-based home care, but the volume of patients right. that um, we serve, our greatest, most of them live in Chicopee, but the most of them come from as being a patient of Bay State Medical Center. And patients do have a choice, and we're very happy that they choose us when they do. And the community seems excited about the possibility of increasing our footprint mm. and, and making us bigger because we serve that many more, that much better, and ensure our future mm. and hopefully the future of Porch Light. You raise a great point, um, and uh, this is something we talk about often, is that you do have a choice. And I think that's so important for people, especially when they are being discharged from the hospital. Uh, many hospitals do have uh, services uh, that would take uh, their services into the home. But again, when you have a mission like the one that Porchlight and Chicopee VNA and now the, the new Porchlight has, uh, truly committed to the community and all those resources that we have do go into the care. And then with home care elite status and, and so forth, you're truly getting the best care. So Holly, you know, it's important for people to know that they do have that choice. Absolutely. And we do have a lot of patients that choose our services, but what happens sometimes when they go into a hospital is they're just asked, you know, can we set up your services for home? And the patient being so ill and not feeling well says, yes, please do. And so what we try to remind our patients is to ask for our services, porch light, Chicopee VNA, great to be home care, porch light home care, because people don't realize that they actually have to state I want porch light services. They think that the home care services being set up are going to be ones that they've had before or that um, the hospital would know what they want. Mm -hmm. So they don't realize that they actually have to say, I'd like to have porch light. There is a choice. There are many um, good services out there and um, we like to to know, we like people to know that we are one of the really good services that is available out in the community. and. We're happy to service them. Mm -hmm. And of course, Porchlight here in uh, in Berkshire County, you know, has been very involved. And we talked about this in public health, uh, and so it's kind of a, a variety of services that that we provide. You know, short-term rehabilitation, you know, and of course the private pay home care side. So, Judy, tell me a little bit about uh, Chicopee. You know, especially for our viewers in Berkshire County um, who may not be as familiar with, with your services, uh, under the new porch light. So, you know, give, give me an idea of the range of services. We're a full certified, certified agency, and we have all of, pretty much all of the services that porch light does. We have RN physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, medical social worker. We're going to be bringing on a nurse practitioner and a dietitian who, um, I knew this was coming, so I was kind of waiting in the wings rather than, <laughs> um, you know, try and start something new before this happened. So we pretty much mirrored the same services and we'll be able to share talent. Mm. And that's important to have that nurse practitioner uh, support there. It's been a wonderful addition to many home care agencies. Holly's had success with it up here and I know the success and I wanted to do it so I've been kind of like a horse at the gate being wanting to provide this service back in Pioneer Valley. Mm. 
And it is one of the things that sets us apart from other VNAs is that we provide services from acute to chronic care. So we have the acute care and the nurse practitioner who can go out. She has a collaborating physician. She's not there to take the place of the person's primary care physician, but she's there to keep the patient at home and out of the hospital. And so that's the acute part. And then we have the Medicare certified side, which is the insurance reimbursed. And then we also have the private pay side, including live-in services, so that the patient can remain at home with services to avoid those rehospitalizations, which mm. we're very intent on doing. Now, Judy, tell me a little bit about uh, your background, and because we were actually talking before the show, and you know, as we've seen some changes in healthcare here in the Berkshires, uh, the news of Northern Berkshires Hospital uh, closing. You, you said you've seen that happen in other regions that you've worked in. So, tell me a little about your your evolution of your career. <laughs> I'm a jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> um, I started my career in critical care. And my past involves ICU, CCU, emergency room, emergency trauma, and the operating room. I um, is a master's prepared and taught full time at Elms College, part time at University of Hartford, and I did some research assistant work when I was at University of Connecticut. Um, I had my own consulting company for a while and I've been in home care in and out a few times over my career. So I have a um, huge knowledge base that I try and bring with me wherever I go. Um, paramount through my entire career has been the patient. Mm -hmm. So no matter how far up the ladder or how far down the ladder I've gone, um, my primary focus has always been the patient. And that if I'm gonna err, I will always err on the side of the patient. And, and so for this new role that you have as Chief Operations Officer, tell me, you know, your philosophy going into it, especially, you know, from your background and how home care and VNA services is evolving in this world of, of health care. It seems as though, you know, we've had this conversation so often, and it's true, you know, people want to stay in their homes. Um, and that's important for families and, and individuals uh, for as long as, they, as long as they can. I think the um, home care has always been off to the side and in the corner, that big business always concentrated more on acute care. Mm -hmm. and in have the facility. It, it, yeah. within, within acute care facilities, mm -hmm. and then it branched out a little bit to skilled nursing facilities. And I think if we're going to look at costs, we have to recognize what can be done in the home. That such a small percentages of patients that could be at home are either in assisted living facilities or skilled nursing facilities having extended hospital stays because they aren't aware of what home care and private home care can do for them. And I believe that we can do just about everything in the home, reduce costs, um, have people be in their own environment, less prone to infection. Um, for elders, less confusion because they're in an environment they know. and that there's no place like home mm -hmm. that you know you're most comfortable with those you love in your own environment and that's good for people and Holly we had a conversation on this program recently about how the government is starting to we hope uh, you know of course we hope the dollars follow the philosophy but at least uh, supporting that philosophy in finding ways to to keep people in their homes longer Absolutely, and we at Porchlight have adopted the triple aim of health care reform, which is high quality, improved patient satisfaction, and low cost. So we're really focusing on those three things um, in our operations and, and with our patients. And one of the reasons, as we have talked earlier in different shows, is about the name of Porchlight and why we selected that name was because we wanted people to really have an individual uh, uh, meaning for, for their home care. And so when you say the word porch light, what do you think of? Mm -hmm. And everybody has their own vision and their own home, so no matter where home is for them, that they would have that sense when they heard the word porch light. And so for the name change down in Chicopee, we're hoping that people 
will grasp that concept as well and say, hey, you know, that makes sense. Um, mm. We each have individualized plans of care and therefore, you know, we have a, an individual vision of of, of each other's homes. And of course, the Berkshire Eagle headline uh, was very uh, wonderful and very appropriate because I think it, it read, oh, there it is, right on the screen. Uh, Porch light shines into Chicopee, you know, what a what a visual and what a what a feeling um, because it really does mean something to people. And, you know, and, and we talked about this, how um, challenging it was to take an organization 100 years old with a name uh, based upon uh, the region and then going through that change and, and how that uh, was a challenge but so important for your growth and and Judy we you know similarly I would say that you I, know Chickabee has been attached to the name very much so and I anticipated um, much greater pushback than what I have received that it is being very positively received I think when Holly introduced the name and when I introduced it at the board I actually when I talked to my board about it the first time that this would mean giving up our name um, I actually showed Marita Stratton's video that's on the Porchlight website and um, it has really come along and people seem very accepting of it. I actually love it. I think it um, I think it's universal that I think sometimes we didn't get as much business as we might have or could have because people heard Chickabee VNA and they thought we only serve Chickabee and our census Leans, lends credence to that because over 70% of our patient population on the certified side is from the city of Chicopee. Mm. So while we have loyal Chicopee residents, I would like loyal Pioneer Valley and loyal Hamden County. And I think Porchlight allows us that opportunity mm. to have that type of growth because we aren't associated with just the city. Holly, it's so interesting how that story really duplicates you know the philosophy of what the case was here in in the Berkshires you know Absolutely. that you know while we love the name Lee and we love Lee and here we are in Lee uh, recording this program um, the uh, idea of Lee re even even with the name regional uh, in there does limit you know as far as uh, where the possibilities could be and as we see healthcare changing um, one of your philosophies has been in order to uh, survive and thrive into the future you, know, you really have to find ways to grow uh, and find you know these partnerships and find greater levels of efficiencies that's correct and we felt it was really important to increase our footprint and to keep freestanding VNAs uh, fiscally solvent. And that's one of the reasons why Judy and I have this partnership and um, really feel that this is going to be a blessing for everybody concerned. Um, people do have a choice and we want to continue to provide that choice for them. And just so people know, your office, uh, which is the current headquarters uh, for Chicopee VNA, uh, will continue to be open, um, that Chicopee office. So, and that's a, that's a nice space there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, historically, it was originally the mess hall for Westover Air Force Base. It turned into another company for a little while, and we're the third tenants in the building. And we have over, I think, over 18,000 square feet. And we have good space and it's bright and when the president comes he lands at Westover so twice I've had the opportunity to see Air Force One fly by my window. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Maybe we'll uh, have him take a tour at some point um, of the office. Uh, that would be, uh, you know, to of course, you know, to get more support for home care. That's uh, right. Naturally, uh, <laughs> as far as that goes. So, you know, what what have you, has your impression been of the community? Of course, Holly, you're not unfamiliar to the Pioneer Valley. Uh, um, you, know, you know, what are your thoughts? Well, I, f I find that Chicopee is a very warm community. Pioneer Valley is also a very warm, warm area. Um, people are very accepting of uh, the care that we can deliver. I attended a, a chamber breakfast with Judy, and um, I was met with open arms. And um, it's really just um, refreshing to know that people are open to change and that they recognize it's necessary um, to keep moving forward with this business. And um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the staff. They've been open and, and they're happy about 
the merger and and what we're doing together as well so mm. and from a logistical standpoint i know there are separate websites you know and so there's work being done to you know kind of bring that together um i think if you go to the chicopee website now there'll be a little notice there uh that will say that we're now a part of a porch light that sort of thing now so that's actually a pretty significant notice yeah <laughs> <laughs> a big notice <laughs> no well we want people to know and we want that's it to right. be the first thing that they see <laughs> So it's at the top of the page with links to the um, media releases that have been out and um, the link to the radio show that was on uh, NPR. So we actually did it. We changed our Facebook page, which now says Porch Light mm -hmm. um, in Chicopee office. So we're ready. We're like going gung-ho. We're already <laughs> sharing emails. Uh, I gave my computer away this morning to have it uh, <laughs> upgraded so that we could share calendars and uh, Love those sync IT information. People, you know, it's a good thing we have these IT people. Thank God yeah. for <laughs> IT people. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't know what to do without them today. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. It, it, it's actually as much work as it's been, it's been it's been fun that we've had a good time with it and I think that Holly and I having the ability to work hand in glove that it has been a true merger a collaboration and a really positive experience that it it isn't there isn't anything bad about this that it's all good for our staff and our patients and that was our intent from the beginning mm -hmm. and and I think that we work so well that and Pat Lamont, you can't say enough about because she's the third pin here. And the three of us have done an awful lot of work in a short amount of time. And I think we lead by example. And if your leaders work that well together, the rest kind of follow suit. Yes, yeah, those IT people and those financial people. Very important, the accountants, <laughs> uh, Pat Lamont, who is, as, as you referred to her, she's the chief financial Correct. officer, the CFO, and we mm -hmm. uh, spoke about her earlier. And so she had a very significant role in this, Holly. So, John, one of the things I want to um, bring to light is that our history of our organizations is very important. Mm -hmm. And I know at uh, Porchlight in Lee, we have... Um, compiled the history into a document and PowerPoint and pulled that together. And I would like to see the same thing happen in Chicopee because I don't want to lose sight of, you know, what the history was, what got us to where we are today, mm -hmm. and how can we move forward and how can we be part of that history. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, it's just important for viewers to know how important um, the history of the organizations is. It is, and you know, and you cannot argue with the uh, clinical excellence, you know, honored, you know, not only from home care elite and status, but certainly in, in great surveys from Department of Health and and uh, and you name it, um, everything that uh, can be honored uh, upon you as a home care agency and VNA uh, service uh, for both the organizations. Um, it really seems to make it uh, a perfect fit. Um, so this is exciting. Now, as far as individuals who are interested in uh, receiving care or families who are receiving care, um, the contact information, is it still the same for the Chicopee office? Yes, in, in Porchlight, it's area code 413-243-1212. And in mm -hmm. Chicopee, it's area code 413-437-9862. Okay, and you can check all of those, and I'm sure we'll update the uh, Porchlight website. They're on the website. They're that. on okay. Facebook. They're <laughs> in the newspaper. They're in the <laughs> telephone book. <laughs> <laughs> the word is getting out there. The word is getting out there. And, and you know, and for uh, my part, I thank you for making this show because I know that the amount of traveling back and forth that the two of you have been doing, not only together, but, you know, separately and, and uh, communication with employees and, and different entities has, and, and board members, has been uh, an immense amount of that, Holly. So I, I really appreciate you making the trip. Well, we are it's happy only, to be here. It's only 40 miles. It's only 40 miles, yeah. I mean, we, we are so spoiled. <laughs> Spoiled. You know, people in, I, I spent almost a year in Nebraska, and people traveled six hours for medical care. Mm. We had, we owned 12 helicopters out there to get people in. They wow. spent the night to have day surgery. So we're very fortunate. 40 miles is nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, any of us uh, who have been in healthcare for a while, 
know that uh, yeah, 40 miles is 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 very is very little because there's lots of traveling that uh, right. healthcare professionals do <laughs> generally, not only uh, here in Massachusetts, but as you said, um, across the country. So uh, so yes, I guess we are spoiled. But mm. uh, but anyhow, so th that's wonderful. And so how you know any last thoughts? Um, just that I think another thing uh, that comes to light is that for our employees. Uh, there's a positive side to this as well for them receiving uh, benefits because mm -hmm. their health care costs and benefits will go down because we're a larger organization. Mm -hmm. So that gives us better discounts. And um, that's an exciting thing for employees to be able to have you know more benefits available to them. Mm -hmm. And just so people understand, uh, 200 employees or so at Porchlight, 100 employees uh, now from the Chicopee, so together 300 employees. And this is a you know ten and a half million dollar total uh, bu annual budget. Um, there's a big impact to the community uh, from an economic standpoint. Um, so so this is important not only just for those employees uh, or for those who receive uh, care, but it's important for both uh, these regions. Right. And we um, have the ability to hire continually home health aides, companions, and homemakers. And we do have applications online. We are still looking for per diem nurses and additional nurse practitioner. And so our website is www.porchlighthomecare.org and our applications are online and if that's inconvenient for somebody if they just call and ask us to mail them an application we're happy to do that as well fantastic so holly chafee great pleasure having you back on the program and judy cody welcome to the Thank porch you. light family um, it's been really exciting and uh, i know it's going to be uh, continuing to, to to see greater things into the future so so thank you so much thanks john thank you thank, thank you. you and this has been porch light a presentation of porch light vna and home care i'm john kroll thanks for watching